Hi everyone, welcome to this reaction video of America's 7th Splatfest. I don't know what the results are, but I joined Team Pirates and I had a pretty good streak of wins. I I'd only like lost a few times in the beginning because of bad teammates. Yeah, bad teammates. Always bad teammates. But then I got good teammates and I was able to get uh, 30 wins in a row. Also, just want to point out something. The win rate for uh, matches, uh, percentage, it's now times six instead of times four. This is because uh, in Japan, it's always been the most popular team that has- Whoa, my goodness! They are significantly more popular than I expected, the ninjas. I'm not- I mean, I, I am surprised, but I, I, I wasn't expecting it to- Because I wasn't expecting it to be this much of a difference. We're probably gonna, if Pirates are gonna win, we're gonna need, definitely need a, a good win rate. <laughs> yeah, we're guaranteed to win. With a win rate that big and time six, it's, it's no contest. Popularity barely matters at all now because of how big the multiplier is. See? Look at how much of a difference that is. Yo ho ho, walk the plank, you scurvy dogs! Uh, we probably are. Avast me, hearties. Sore loser off the port bow! If you participated in the Splatfest, don't forget. Your prizes are waiting in the plaza. Yep, 24 super sneeze snails. I'm pretty sure we would have won even with the times 4 multiplier. But uh, yeah, times 6 makes popularity matter very, very little. In fact, when there's a team that's going to be overly popular, that means all the kids are on that team. Which means they're not going to be playing very well, which means the other team's going to get a good uh, advantage. Which means they're guaranteed to win. So, this is another reason why you probably want to wait before you choose your team. Because if your team is overly popular, it's actually pretty much guaranteed to lose. Uh, I kind of feel sorry for people who have not won a single plat Splatfest so far. Because this is the seventh one. Battle points get just to force a win. Pirates claim everyone's just salty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, pretty much the last part of this video is always watching all the salty reactions. I went to Splatfest after four losses in a row. Yeah, not everyone got this game at the very beginning. Also, yeah, Voldemort. <laughs> he did some. He was a laggy player. I have a footage of him. This sucks. Can't wait for the next Splatfest. Hope I'm to see American players again. Good game, Ninjas, but you got wrecked! What does Weta see uh, Parts 1. I'm sorry I wasn't helping at all on the Mori Tower stage. Yeah, uh, actually, in terms of matches variety, or weapon variety rather, I stuck to my E leaders uh, quite often because it was more towers and stages that uh, favor chargers quite a bit, so I think I only use like the Octobrush as a secondary weapon every now and then. No, I'm pretty sure we would have won even with the times four multiplier. I, I could be wrong. Someone do the calculation. See, see what it does. Yeah, it's all about One Piece versus Naruto. Even though that uh, connection has has only been made by the kids and whatnot. Uh, a few more reactions up there. Except no, not really. Seriously, stop with the salt. You still get rewarded. That's true. I'm, per although personally, I'm a uh, four for three Splatfest now. One four lost three. More than fifty percent chance to win. It's too bad I only joined at the last second, so you guys can't just join the team I joined because I'm joining at the last second. And anyway, yeah, I think that's it for this reaction video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope y'all are gonna stay. Uh, the compilation of matches sh might come up later today or tomorrow. Or, yeah, pro pro probably tomorrow. As for, uh, so there's no voice chat, probably Thursday or Friday or something. Bye-bye!